Question number 6 and this question is based on the graph. In the question they say that figure 8.11 shows the distance time graph of three objects A, B and C. Study the graph and answer the following. So this is the graph which they have given in the textbook. Here the y axis, y -axis is showing the distance 4, 8 and 12 km and this x axis is showing the time. So here 0.4 hour, 0.8 hour, 1.2 hour, 1.6 hour and 2 hour. So 1 hour is in between here and 2 hour is here. So that is how they have shown the time on x axis. Now we have to study the graph for this three objects travel. Object A, object B and object C. So first let us check for the object A. So for object A travel starts from here. So here it is 6 km. So this travel is not starting from the 0 km. It is starting from the 6 km. So its journey is starting from 6 km and finishes somewhere here. So if we will extend this line towards the x axis then it is showing 2 hours. The time which is showing is 2 hours that this journey is starting from the 0 hour and it is finishing at 2 hours. If we will extend this line it will give us 2 hours. Similarly if we will extend this line towards y axis it will give us 12 hours. So object A's journey is from 6 to 12 km. It is starting from 6 km and ending at 12 km. So journey will start from 6 to 12 and it is taking 2 hours time. It is taking this much time. So 2 hours time. So this is for A. Now let us check for B. So B lines and object B's journey is starting from 0 and it is finishing here. So if we will extend this line towards x axis it will give us time. So it is showing that it is coming here somewhere. So this is in between 1.2 hour and 1.6 hour. So this time tells us that it is 1.4 hour. 1.4 hour because it is in between 1.2 and 1.6. So it is 1.4 hour and, and at which kilometer it is finishing almost at 12 kilometer. So object B's journey is from 0 to 12 kilometer and it is finishing in 1.4 hour. It is finishing in 1.4 hour. Now similarly for the C. So C travel is starting from here somewhere. So here it is 2 kilometer. It is not starting from 0. It is starting from 2 kilometer. 2 kilometer till here. 12 kilometer. 2 kilometer to 12 kilometer. If we will extend it for till y axis then it will give us 12 km and if we will extend it on x axis then it will give us the time and it is showing that this is showing us that it is 1.6 hour then it is showing us that 1.6 hour so 2 to 12 km journey object C is traveling in 1.6 hour so these are the timings and journey for all the three objects this is what we got it from the graph now we have to answer all these questions. So first question is which of the three is traveling the fastest? So if we will see here, so B is completing its journey because it is starting from zero and it is reaching till end point and that too in 1.4 hour. So the time is lesser than this both A and C. So B is traveling the fastest. So answer here is B. So object B is traveling the fastest. Now, are all the three ever at the same point on the road? That means they are saying that are all three are crossing their path on at any one point are all three crossing their path? No. Two, two objects are crossing their path. That one is here, one is here and the other one is here. But all three are not crossing at any point. They are not crossing at any point. So the answer is no, they are not. They are not crossing with each other. They all three are not crossing with each other at one point. Two, two objects are crossing. How far has C traveled when B passes A? That means they are saying that when B passes A, 
that means when B is crossing A. This is the B and this is A. This line is for B and this line is for A. So they are passing it here. So when they are passing each other, when they are crossing each other, where the C will be. So C line is here. C line is somewhere here. Now once we are taking the point, we have to extend it till the x axis and we have to extend it till y axis. Then it will give us kilometer and time. So here we will get the kilometer is 8 kilometer. When we will extend this line, when we will extend this line till y axis, then it will give us 8 kilometer. So when A and B are crossing each other, when they are passing each other, the C will reach still 8 kilometers. So here answer we will get is 8 kilometers. C will reach still 8 kilometers. Then how far has B traveled by the time it passes C? So here both travel line is different. Their both kilometers are different because here B is little bit faster than C. So both kilometer are different but they are crossing each other over here. So when they both passes each other, the B is reaching at somewhere here. B is reaching at somewhere here. So that is 5 km. So B travel by the time passes C is B will reaches the 5 km. B will reach at 5 km. So at that time when B and C are crossing each other, the B has already passed 5 km. Kilometer.